Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Android App Arena is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. It's time for Twit's annual audience survey, and we want to hear from you. Please visit twit.tv slash survey and let us know what you think. It only takes a few minutes, and your anonymous feedback will help us make Twit even better. We thank you so much for your continued support. Twit.tv slash survey. This is Android App Arena, episode 37, for Wednesday, March 18th, 2015. Audio streaming and discovery. This episode is brought to you by lynda.com, the online learning platform with over 3,000 on-demand video courses to help you strengthen your business, technology, and creative skills. For a free 10-day trial, visit lynda.com slash arena. That's L-Y-N-D-A dot com slash arena. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Android App Arena. I'm your host, Jason Howell. Unless you've been hiding under a virtual rock, you've probably heard about this app for iOS called Meerkat. If you're on Twitter, then you become accustomed to being exposed to an endless stream of Live Now links as a result. Meerkat is a way to stream your own live video feed to your Twitter followers with marginal friction. You just tap to stream and a link is popped into your Twitter feed, and suddenly a ton of people click that link, and now they're watching you do all the mundane things that you do. How many meerkats have I seen of some dude sitting at their desk working, talking about meerkat? Anyways, my original thought was, what kind of Android apps exist that allow for friction-free audio and video, video streaming in a similar way? Well, as it turns out, not many that I really wanted to spend time reviewing. Some of the ones that I played with just weren't very good. So I decided to focus on audio streaming apps to do something similar to Meerkat, but targeted to an audio audience. This is actually pretty awesome for anyone recording podcasts because it means that you can bring a live component to something that you normally record and release later. And I also realized that discovery, in this sense, is a big part of the offering as well. So let's dive in, take a look at three apps that are perfect for when you're searching for live audio content to listen to, or even when you have something that you want to contribute in this week's Roundup. First up is an app that obviously appeals to those who want to live stream their audio content. It's called Mixler. And right off the bat, you really have two directions to go, listen or broadcast. To get a sense of the type of audio content on Mixler, just tap into listen to find some of the most popular streams at any given moment. Or decide whether you're in the mood for music or spoken word content, and you can pick from there. You can also follow your favorite streamers and get notified when they're streaming. But I'd say the strength of Mixler lies more in its relatively friction-free streaming approach. Tap broadcast, get all ready to stream, and then just press that circle of dots, and right away, your audio is fed out to anyone that happens upon you. You can choose to save that audio locally as well. Give the stream a name, throw it into a category so users of the service know what they've found when they stumble onto you. And sharing your stream to Facebook and Twitter is pretty easy as well. You just tap the icon while the stream is underway and followers will get an easy link to tap into. Now, you'll know how many people are currently connected as well. You get that on the readout. You even have the chance to chat with them live from inside the app. And when you're done being the best broadcaster in the whole wide world, just tap stop and your stream is finished. Depending on your live casting aspirations, you have a few service levels that you can choose from. There's Mixler Basic, that's free, and it gives you one hour of streaming per session, although there's unlimited sessions per day. Then Mixler Premium costs $100 per year for three hours at a time and a higher bitrate audio stream. Finally, Mixler Pro costs $200 per year for a totally unlimited account. If you simply want the world to hear something on a whim or you want to live stream your audio podcast or DJ session, Mixler is definitely worth checking out. Find Mixler right now in the Play Store. 
Next up is Spreaker. And this service actually has two apps, which I'm going to cover, starting with the main Spreaker app. Think of this as your gateway to Spreaker's rich catalog of archived audio content. A lot of what you'll find in the categorized Explore section are podcasts that have been posted into the Spreaker library. So in that regard, it becomes a podcast aggregator of sorts, though it doesn't necessarily operate like a traditional podcast app. You don't subscribe to feeds, you simply explore to them. And if you're lucky, you can catch the live recording of some podcasts through the app. Some shows post their live schedules as well, so you can tune in on time. There are plenty of DJs and talk shows covering the gamut of music genre and discussion topics to explore. Now, if you want to contribute, you'll be asked to install a companion app that Spreaker recently released to facilitate that called Spreaker Studio. This is a creation tool that allows you to do things like create a song playlist to be used inside your show, uh, add a number of sound effects on the fly, and you can also check out the live chat while you're broadcasting live. When you have the pieces dialed in, you just tap Rec for record and choose if it's to be live streamed or recorded offline. Choose a title, a few relevant tags, and if you want it to be broadcast to your Twitter and Facebook feeds, and then go live. Do your thing, and when you're done, you'll get a little chart so you know how many people tuned in, left messages, and actually liked what you did. For free, you'll be able to stream up to one half hour's worth of content per session, a limited number of sessions per day. And there are multiple plan levels from $5 per month for 45-minute sessions, all the way up to $120 per month for a completely unlimited experience. And the higher tiers also give you access to additional metrics around who your listeners actually are and where they're from, demographically speaking. Look for Spreaker right now in the Play Store. And finally, when it comes to internet distribution of talk, music, and audio content, you should absolutely check out SoundCloud, which at this point is hardly a secret at all. SoundCloud has an incredibly active community of creators and fans, and you'll find a wide spectrum of content, including a lot of independent music by unsigned artists that have yet to break through. <clears throat> of course, the big names are here as well, and you can subscribe to anyone's feed to fill up your own stream full of the content you crave most. Now, one big distinction here compared to the previous two apps in this episode is the fact that SoundCloud doesn't actually do live audio streaming but you can record audio at any point from inside the app, though the setting is kind of buried in the menu. They might consider moving that key feature out into the wide open. Anyway, tap record and you'll see a glowing waveform of your mic'd audio. Tap again and the recording stops, giving you full playback control as well as a chance to resume that record seamlessly. The scissors give you quick access to some trimming controls for tightening up your audio, and there are even some fade options for the top and tail of your recording. All right, so here I am recording. Yeah, recording from inside SoundCloud. When you're done, you can add an image, notate basic details about what the audio content actually is, and then finally, post it to SoundCloud, either as a public or a private post. If you don't mind that your audio only posts after the fact, then you'll definitely enjoy the SoundCloud experience. Check it out for free in the Play Store. Okay, there you have it. Now, as for Meerkat, the live video streaming app that's taking the internet by storm at the moment, as I said, it's iOS only right now. The company has plans to roll it out to Android <clears throat> at some point. But the Meerkat developers huddled together over a weekend and put together what they call an unofficial Meerkat app, specifically for intercepting Meerkat links and playing those streams so you don't have to default to viewing inside a browser. Although, an unofficial app created by the developers of the official Meerkat app, something there doesn't compute, but I digress. I suppose it's a step in the right direction. It shows they have Android in their sights. Let's just hope for their sake that the magic doesn't burn out by the time it finally rolls out to Android. All right, before we move on, let's thank the sponsor of today's episode. That's lynda.com. I love lynda.com. It's uh, for problem solvers, for the curious, for people who want to make things happen. Maybe you want to master Excel, improve your productivity, build a website, or develop an app. 
Lynda.com has everything you need to find your curious mind. Some of the courses I recommend are managing your mobile photos and Photoshop uh, CC essential training. And if, if you're ready to start taking better photos, you should check out Lynda.com's Foundations of Photography and Photography 101 series, which has tutorials covering topics like composition, exposure, and much more. There's a bunch of super helpful audio engineering tutorials that might actually apply to today's episode, as well as motion graphics. I was able to do some pretty cool things with After Effects thanks to Linda's tutorials. With a lynda.com membership, you can watch and learn from top experts who are passionate about teaching. You can stream thousands of video courses on demand and learn on your own schedule. Learn at your own pace. Courses are structured so you can watch them from start to finish or consume them in bite-sized pieces. It's entirely up to you. You can browse each course transcript to follow along or search for an answer. Skip right to that point. You can take notes as you go. Refer to those later, of course. You can download tutorials. This is, this is a pretty huge deal. You watch them on the go, including access on your iOS or Android device. You can create and save playlists of courses you want to watch to customize your learning path, share with your friends, colleagues, and your team members. Alinda.com membership gives you unlimited access to training on hundreds of topics, all for one flat rate. Whether you're looking to become an expert, you're passionate about a hobby, or you just want to learn something new, I want you to visit lynda.com slash arena and sign up for your free 10-day trial. That's lynda.com slash arena. And we thank them for their support of Android App Arena. All right, so moving on to this week's big app, I got to say, I really have enjoyed it. Maybe a little too much. It took me back to my college years. Let's take a look. This week's big app hasn't had a lot of downloads at the moment. Maybe we can change that. But uh, what can I say? I'm a sucker for ping pong. I mean, table tennis, whatever you want to call it. Table tennis touch allows me to play one of my all-time favorite sports. And yes, it's a sport. Okay, so dragging my finger on the screen to paddle a ping pong ball across to the other side of the table might not necessarily be a sport in and of itself, but Table Tennis Touch does a great job bringing the real experience onto the small screen. The speed and angle of your finger movement will determine how fast the ball is sent to the other side of the table. And you can even put some spin into the paddle by shifting to either side after you've made contact with the ball. The sights, the sounds, they're all pretty faithful to the real thing. And the mechanics actually feel very real as well. Very good physics. Table Tennis Touch brings a few modes of gameplay to the mix, from a quick game that gets you right to the action, to an arcade mode that brings with it 12 very specific challenges, like targeting particular zones of the table for your returns, or hitting bowling pins that are spread out kind of like a mixture of ping pong and bowling. There's definitely some creative and challenging gameplay in there. And finally, there's a full career mode that takes you on a journey to mastering the paddle. That pits you against a ton of opponents in a tournament of the ages. The details in this game are really impressive, and everything looks, sounds, and plays great. Now, here comes the sad trombone part. Table tennis touch is only for devices running lollipop. I know. But hey, more incentive to upgrade your device, right? I don't know. Don't throw your tomatoes at me. But if you are running Lollipop, definitely check out Table Tennis Touch for $3.99 in the Play Store. I was a nut for ping pong back in college. I was living in, just real quick here, living with a buddy of mine in college housing. We put our money together and bought a ping pong table. We set it up in our dining room. And the dimensions of that dining room side to side were maybe five total inches wider than the width of the table. So it was just like sandwiched right in there. Barely fit, but it opened up a whole new world of gameplay options. You used the walls for shots and all these creative ways. It was awesome. Some of the challenges in table uh, tennis touch kind of remind me of variations we would have made to the game of, you know, we had a set of bowling pins just laying around collecting dust. Uh, fun game all around. I love it. Even more reason to look forward to Lollipop if you don't already have it. Uh, as always, I love hearing from you guys. Your recommendations are incredibly helpful. Send your favorite apps, your new categories, games, anything to arena at twit.tv. I will definitely take a look. There's a subreddit for the show. I, you know, I post categories. You can also post categories, but just uh, you know, give me your recommendations of apps that fit those categories so that I can kind of do a roundup like I did today. If you have input of that kind, 
head over to androidapparena.reddit.com and you can share them with me there. Follow me on Google Plus, of course. Talk about Android from time to time there. Just search for me. I also host a live viewing party of each week's episode where I'll be on set to answer any questions you have about the apps in the show and anything Android. And that happens every Wednesday at 4.30 p.m. Pacific following Tech News Tonight at live.twit.tv. And finally, if live's not your thing or you missed it, each week's episode will appear later that night on the site and in the feeds. All those details can always be found at our show page. That's twit.tv slash arena. All right, that's it, folks. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Jason Howell, and I'll see you next week in the arena.